Hi, uh, I'm Amy Ellison, and this is what I'm doing right now. So <laughs> this is literally where you can find me. Uh, and I'm very excited to be our narrator today. Hello, my name is Vanna. My pronouns are she, her, and uh, I stream full time on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Vanna. And uh, I'm excited to be back on the Save and Throw shows. Hey, y'all, non-binary busy bee here. Um, I... Oh gosh, let's start. You can find me on Twitter as Appy underscore Zelda. I, I just, I really did want to compliment your hat, but you can't compliment my hat back. So <laughs> oh, I can, I can, I can, I can compliment it now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, and I'm so excited to be here, and I'm very excited for just like the hat game we got going on. Cool. And uh, Ronald. Hi, folks. I am Ronald. Uh, you can find me on the internet as DJ Regular pretty much everywhere. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be uh, jumping into some rivers. Okay. Um, Tom's sorry. furiously clicking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's just, you just see this and that, that's, that's, I'm just working <laughs> on stuff. Like if we What's need to doing over more, there? I've got a hat too. No, yeah, you're all good. You're all good. Can I go put on a hat? Yeah. yeah, I don't know why you don't have a hat on already. Yeah, oh, come God. on, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Just bringing, the, bringing the property values down. Oh my God! <laughs> um. I'm so hideous. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Hatless and hideous. Uh, <laughs> Hatless. That's uh, I, I've heard that somewhere before. Um, really? <laughs> uh, take it away, Amy. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> <laughs> uh so welcome to rippers uh this is a horror game uh it's going to definitely push some boundaries but hopefully not go over any boundaries but there should be a little bit of a content warning for horror related stuff body horror uh em emotional discomfort that kind of a thing but we'll, we'll keep it classy uh so what i would love for well the first thing i need for all of you is to make sure that all of you have three vennies because all of our players here are playing characters that are normal-ish humans. Yay. And I get four bennies as the GM. I get one for the each of us, um, which I can use. You'll remember that you can use those to re-roll. Ooh. They're actually green. Yeah. Fancy but... ones. yeah. yeah. <laughs> they exist. I was going to say on our end, your green screen isn't on. So I was like, yeah, they are. Dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. I had that same thought until I realized what Good might job. happen. <laughs> Look, I don't appreciate uh, being green. shown up. <laughs> Dom, Dom, over here bragging that he, Dom over here bragging that he knows his colors. You get an extra Benny. <laughs> yeah, I'm not job. colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you also have the choice to take either an adventure card from the adventure deck, or I will give you an extra Benny just for free, but you have to choose one or the other. So I will take an adventure card, please. All right. Would you like to tell me when to stop? Stop. Oh. Very close. All right. <clears throat> you have riled up. Your hero causes plus two damage for each wound he has in this encounter. Wounds count whether they are suffered previously or after this card is played. So we're all up for you. All right. Thank you. All right. Put that with you. All right. Let's see. Jocelyn, tell me when to stop. Mm, stop. Okay. Payback. Ooh. Play it on an opposing wild card. Your damage causing attacks are made at a plus two against him for the duration of the scene. So you can get a plus two damage against an opponent, essentially. Okay. So a free plus two damage against an opponent when it comes up. And that's for Jocelyn. And then I drop my deck on my, so it's fine. It's fine. It's good. Yeah. All right, here yeah. we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Quintus card and stop okay you have noble sacrifice oh no play when a nearby ally gm's call but you know i'm flexible um suffers damage to take the damage result yourself nice so you can take damage for another person if you wish that's quintus all right that's a good and one for quintus too i think it's great for Based Quintus. Off of, yeah how yeah. i understand that character. all right I like elijah oh okay yeah stop 
Uh oh, okay. That's I feel like it was this whenever. one. It's perfect. Uh -oh. It's shaking in their boots. Ooh. <laughs> this is my favorite card, not gonna lie. Play in a combat situation, your character does or says something so shocking that it brings the area to a standstill. All other characters, friend or foe, are shaken. Ooh. See, you can literally just stop and say something so shocking, everybody just freezes for a moment. What? I peed. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That did stop all of us temporarily. Nice, Brilliant. Nice. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. Uh, yeah. Real quick, uh, Thrace Fulton has given their Benny to Vanna. Thanks. I will put a Benny over there. Vanna, make sure that you put a Benny with your I have four, Pringles four or however tiny you rocks. <laughs> four. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> nice. Oh, look, Vanna can count. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And I can see colors, Dom, so eat shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Green. Um, what? Uh, black. Everybody here. <laughs> Everybody here went to primary school. Great. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Throw it in my friggin' face. <laughs> DJ, what were you doing while we were all in primary school? You don't want to know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not eating Now blue. I really want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not allowed in Granada. That's, that's one thing I can reveal. London, 1892. <laughs> oh god, the veil, it came in real fast. <laughs> uh it is a lovely day as much as we get in London. Uh so only slightly misty, let's say, on this day. Uh and it is about 11 in the morning almost afternoon and all of you have found yourself at Quintus's mm. lovely abode for a bit of brunch since Buzz was in town. So please as we're as we're sitting at brunch for a moment um introduce your character to our audience please just tell me a little bit name kind of the archetype of character that you're playing uh, any major details that you want them to know? I vote Quintus go first. <laughs> so can oh, you sure. repeat the year? 1892. Oh, my favorite year. It's the best year. <laughs> that was, that's two years after I was born. <laughs> I mean. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Totally. Sure. All right. So, so let's see. Yeah, Quintus, it's your house. Yeah, so Quintus, uh, it is uh, it, as as Amy mentioned, this is his estate. Uh, he is a, as far as physical appearance, uh, black man, very like very tall, um, around like six three, like strong, like very like like uh, very muscularly built, um, dark uh, dark skin, and uh, He's currently dressed in a like a suit, uh, burgundy like burgundy jacket, uh, black uh, black pants, uh, pretty like uh, like fancy like two tone shoes that like the the top tone is uh, the burgundy and the bottom tone is black. He also has a like black waistcoat that looks like just normal. Uh, normal black, but if you get in close, you can see that there are flowers embroidered in the in the pattern. Um, and uh, the reason he had he was a former uh, like former, let's say like for shorthand cultist, but it's a little more complicated than that. Um, but he inherited this estate from his former master, who was a an adherent to the cult, and. Um, uh, he ended up having to uh, deal with his former master for crimes, uh, for crimes, uh, uh, very ghastly crimes. Against and humanity, some might say. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all currently That's... in his drawing room, which is, which is uh, very nice. So There's... Like, did you make brunch? Is brunch catered? What's the deal? <laughs> Who uh, made brunch? <laughs> uh, br like he, like he, ba like he, he catered lunch, but because like his job was sort of a retainer, like butler, he, you you know, and this isn't the first time he's done this. You know, he's had his hand in making a fair amount of this stuff as well because he can't help it. 
Okay. And so the person who shouts, hey, did you do this? <laughs> You see sitting at this, uh, I imagine, elaborate table with like a wonderful spread of like silver um, cutlery and tableware. Um, they have one foot propped, like they're taking up two chairs. He, um, he's he got one foot propped up on another chair. It's kind of as like his bad knee or leg. I, I, we'll get into those details when it comes back to me. Um, but the boots themselves polished shiny immaculate um he's wearing this like lengthy trench coat um a sparkling bolo tie and um kind of leaning up against the uh the brunch room drawing room table um is his cane um, and up against that is a medical bag that he carries with him at all times elijah winthrop um, he is the surgeon archetype, um, and I think he's probably a little crotchety, you know, I, I, I feel like when you have to deal with helping people at their worst, you know, you got to really build up some thick skin. Uh, so the best way to do that is just terrible bedside manner. Um, and I really look forward to channeling that. <laughs> The that fight is fire a, with that fire. Is a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and sitting across from Elijah um, is a um, mild mannered ish looking uh, woman. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I assume you mean me. Yes. <laughs> okay, I was like, I don't know. It can't be Buzz. It could be, it could be an NPC. I don't know. It's not. <laughs> um, yes, I'm playing uh, my character's named Jocelyn Bromley. Uh, and she's sort of in a, a mix of uh, like genders of the current, of the, the fashion at the time. So her top is sort of a, a blousey item that you'd find a, a, a lady walking around in um and then a vest which is somewhere between sort of a fem and masculine uh vest a, 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 an adornment of like an unusual ascot uh and then she has uh men's slacks on uh and then to tie it all off a big brown belt that holsters her gun and a satchel just filled with who knows what uh and yeah she's she's just chilling and i think she's probably um she's probably has a biscuit in her hand and is just ripping off pieces of biscuits and then popping it in her mouth and then like happily chewing and then it's just doing that like birding <laughs> at the brunch <laughs> nice that's perfect and there is one final gentleman in the room who may or may not be wearing his hat indoors howdy uh, <laughs> name's Buster Callahan. You can call me Buzz. Uh, yeah, Buzz, um, uh, has sort of strawberry blonde hair, uh, and the mustache is coiffed into a nice little twirl with a, with a little goatee Van Dyke style. Um, and, uh, he has a little bit of stubble on the sides of his cheeks. He has a red, uh, neckerchief that he wears um, and uh, he has brown suspenders. And of note, you see he has these like leather bracers around his wrists, both wrists. Uh, he carries uh, uh, two Colt peacemakers on his hip. And uh, uh, often you see him with a sawed off shotgun sometimes when he's in action mode. But right now he's got a guitar and he is uh, plunking away at the guitar a little bit. He's your, he's your stereotypical cowboy singer, singing cowboy. Uh, and, um, uh, relatively new to the whole European way of things. And, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. music at the dining table. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, it's... I personally like a bit of entertainment when I eat. I find yeah. it distracting. I should really be focusing on my food. I mean, you know how many people don't chew and then choke and expire. I re reckon it's not it's it's not not a lot of people do that. It's it's more than one, so it's enough. Elijah yeah, just takes fair. smaller bites. Uh, what about when you're hungry? Well, you're gonna get the food in you either way. So look, 
takes a tiny little <laughs> crumb of the biscuit and is like, <laughs> oh, it's like exhausting. Oh, it's not so bad. And, and you it's see, nice to take your time. Buzz also grabs a a a, a biscuit and uh, which is what a cookie here, <laughs> but um, uh, and takes a big bite and crumbs just kind of go everywhere. And he says, "It's pretty good, Elijah. I mean, I you you should just try it. Just just eat it with reckless abandon." And takes a big bite, crumbs into the guitar everywhere. Oh, <laughs> it turns the guitar. Turn to yeah. <laughs> if he chokes, I'm not saving him. <laughs> I don't know CPR. Uh, I, what, those are just three random letters. It stands I, for... <laughs> I don't know. Between myself and the other attendants, I'm sure if if anyone suffers any sort of difficulty, I'm sure we'll be able to take care of it. We could just does... put a fishing line down there and yank it out. Uh, I mean, does he not know that those are scones and not biscuits? For, for that atrocity alone, I mean... The resuscitation wouldn't be worth it. Semantic yeah, that item. Right there. <laughs> you hear a knock on the door, Quintus. Uh, one moment, Phyllis. <laughs> and... It's somehow Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. Not to me mind. going. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, motherfucker. What's up? <laughs> one moment, Phyllis. Mm. And. Quintus starts to get up, and then as he's, like, halfway to the door, another, like, somebody mm -hmm. that's actually an attendant is walking toward the door. Ah, yes, of course. And You need to Quintus take a rest, down. Quintus. <laughs> you own this place. Nobody pays you to open doors. Uh, I think I think Jocelyn has leaned over and has started, uh, without permission, has started cutting uh, Elijah's food into small pieces. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you need to stop working so much you worked now you've got your rewards and you need to soak in it i wouldn't is that better wouldn't know, wouldn't know <laughs> yeah, how to begin no, Miss Brum. wouldn't know how to begin well and at that takes moment, one step <laughs> um uh, a woman <laughs> whom you all know comes in and is comes in on this and says very manageable <laughs> Uh, I hope it is. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry to, to disturb your brunch. Uh, and you know, you all know this woman is Mina Harker. Uh, and okay. she has clearly come to uh, talk to you about something. She only, she usually has you come to her mm -hmm. um, and sends a uh, missive, but uh, it must be pretty important if she's come to see you. So it must be time sensitive in some way. Oh, oh um, um, howdy, howdy, ma'am. Uh, Miss Harker. Nice, nice to see you, see you again. Um, I'm so glad that you're in town. This is this is good indeed. Do I bow? Do I bow? What do I? Oh, no, right. no. But you could pull the chair out of my foot. It's oh. my bad knee, you know. And just <laughs> give, give that to to Miss Miss Harker. Mm. <laughs> oh, so, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, and. Uh, and and she just kind of uh, takes a teacup uh, and kind of looks at it. Quintus is actually pouring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, oh, thank you. Thank you, dear. Um, and she takes a sip of, her, of the tea and she says, oh, Quintus, this is what blend this. You must you must hook me up with your person. Uh, it is a it is a uh, Darjeeling, ma'am. Oh. I've, uh... Very nice, very nice. Uh, so I am uh, again. I will. I will leave you to it in a moment. But I do have a rather important and time sensitive um, investigation of sorts that I I really could use your help on. Uh, you are the Rippers organization that is currently in town, and especially since all of you are together, uh, this this is just excellent timing indeed. Uh, so I don't know if you've seen the posters about town, uh, but we have a, a show for lack of a better word at, uh, Covent Garden Theater tonight. Uh, it's the Fox sisters. Have you, have you heard of them? Um, and if all of you will, please make me a, um, common knowledge role. 
Um, can I get advantage since this is sort of my thing? Or I'd, maybe not advantage, but you know what I mean? Uh, some sort of boon. I know what you mean. Um, you. Yes, you can have a plus one to this. And Buzz, you can also have a plus one to this. And sorry, what was the skill? Uh, common knowledge. And sorry, is this a skill roll or a standard roll? It is uh, a skill so roll for most of you. So for Jocelyn, it's a d6. I got uh, a eight. Ooh, that's with a raise. Very raise. nice. Um, Elijah has a d6 on it as well. Well, it don't matter because I got a three. I got a five. A six. Okay. That's, that's, that's good. That's Yes. So a four or better is considered a success in Savage Worlds uh, for general roles. So, um, so yes, we have uh, two successes. Uh, Quintus does not know this, but not in a, in a, in a terrible way. Um, and Jocelyn, yeah, he's not, <laughs> it's not embarrassing. He's not suffering know. from. Right. <laughs> not yeah. Yeah. Um, it doesn't hurt. And then, uh, Jocelyn, you absolutely right away. Um, you know exactly who they're talking about. Uh, and it's it was more likely that Buzz would know as well because he is from America. And you know that the Fox sisters are two girls who claim to be able to communicate with a demon. And they often run shows or parlor tricks or parties uh, where people ask, questions and the demon supposedly answers hold up the the fox sisters did you say like the ones that um are all ooh, spooky and they they just like talk to things and and like that. it's a bit more sophisticated than that it's not that it's all parlor tricks they just bang on under the table and tell people the demon did it and they have the lights done wrong, so they are flickering. The energy, though, the energy feels very real. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh. if you're in a in a position to subscribe to it, sure. I, I'm usually sitting. <laughs> Not that kind of position, Elijah. Uh, like a position in your mind. Right. Where you're like, right. I'm open to the idea of ghosts and demons. Right. Which, yes. are, which you know, you shouldn't be. I'm a man of science. I can still be. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please you go all ahead. Got um, the vampire together. You. Right. That's different than a ghost or mm. a fake demon. Mm. Fake ghost, a fake demon. They're different, and that is actually Jocelyn a very good point. That's what I'm hoping that you will go and investigate for us. So. Uh, we have Maggie Fox, uh, who is approximately 22 years old. They're, they're quite young. Um, Catherine, she goes by Kate Fox. She's 19. Uh, they're, they've been working for quite some time as spiritualists. Uh, and apparently they speak to this demon. Uh, they call him Mr. Splitfoot. And that's right quite concerning that's those faces are the faces that you should be making yes uh so we need to know if if they are charlatans that's its own problem uh but something that we might be able to uh help people not be taken by uh but more concerning would be if there is a demon uh in which case we would very much like you to find out and take care of it to the best of your ability because we know that those things cannot be allowed to run around. Agreed. So I do have of tickets course. for everybody. Uh, so, and she Ooh. gives each of you a ticket uh, for Covent Garden Theater's show tonight. Uh, and uh, she says, I'm sorry for the short notice, uh, but you're very capable. You've proven yourself several times at this point. So. I think when Jocelyn takes the ticket, she rolls her eyes. Uh, well, I, for one, am, ex uh, am ecstatic 
and I'll like put it in my little breast pocket in my trench coat. Thank you, Miss Harker. No, my, <clears throat> Yep. Oh, go ahead, boss. <laughs> no. Uh, just much obliged, ma'am. Thank you. Oh no, the choking that was foretold. <laughs> <laughs> what did you might take a smaller bite. Uh, it's really important to chew. So I don't Jocelyn get... reaches over and starts cutting <laughs> up. <laughs> I'll pat your back. Come on. Keep breathing. I just I don't get smooth. often get a chance to eat. Uh so yeah, I'm just chowing down. Sorry, ma'am. That's fair. No, no, that's uh, understandable, especially when you're about to go into the field. Also, uh, I've uh, I've prepared an uh, in in uh, in lieu of your arrival, I've prepared an extra tin of scones for you, Mister Callahan. You mean extra sure. scones for Buzz? Ooh, yes, of course. Exclusively Buzz. Yeah, what? Were we not <laughs> well, even I considered? Took, well, I took note of the rest of your preferences from our last repast, and I have uh, I have. Prepared uh, extra treats for uh, for you as well, and I believe oh. uh, Doctor Winthrop uh, will uh, will your uh, will your pet uh, be taking residence with us uh, as well? I believe I've had a duck. been trying not to bring them indoors since their feet are just perpetually muddy. <laughs> but if there are some extra scones that we could sneak. And let me remind myself what their name was. <laughs> Can we? Yeah. What, what kind of pet do you We have? wrote down. So, so it's a dog. outside of the window. Of oh, the dog. Yeah. You have a so, you have a duck. Quintus has always referred to it as Sir. Yes. <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh my God. There's just a bunch of honks. Oh, Duckington the third. Obviously. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a bunch of honks. That is that is generally speaking the relationship that you have with the stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have wow. I have prepared uh, I have prepared a uh, prepared a place with uh, with ample uh, freestanding water for Sir Duckington. Oh, brilliant! Thank In you. the house. Yes, it's a large house. Oh. And one of one of your rooms is just a pond now. Well, I, I I have the means, and the entire room is not a pond, of course. It's just it will it's hopefully not close to anybody i will just say without reserve that it will just smell like duck shit he's also violent <laughs> yes goes after the ankles That's i right. will uh and mina at this point finishes her tea a little bit quickly um and and she says uh thank you uh quintus for your your hospitality as always and i wish um all of you uh Great health and luck. And, and Mina, look, and if this ends up being a waste of time. Hello from me. I tell your duck hello from me. If this ends up being a waste of time, we still get paid, right? Uh, in what way would it be a waste of time? If they're fakers. Well, then we can keep people from getting. Please, we are not out to determine whether or not they are charlatans. Well, you are. I am. That's personally. Not our, that is not our job. We are going to extinguish and expire any demons that are perhaps summoned by them. You and know, if the there's no part. demon, then what? Then you tell us whether or not they're charlatans and we will try to intervene. Or you could expose them in public. That's always helpful. Ooh, a public Or expose. here we go. Third option. Let them, let them run their rooms. Who are they hurting, really? Our pockets. F fourth option. We're not paying. We got free tickets for Mina. Fourth option. We just enjoy the show. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, who considered that one? But no, no, no. You, you're you're right, Miss Miss Harker. Uh, uh, yeah, no. We'll we'll expose them to charlatans. Uh, you, you have my word. Unless oh, they're not you. charlatans, and then we'll do something else. <laughs> Excise a demon or whatever. Yes, yeah. you know, there it is. Basically. Yes, yes. And she seems confused but pleased by how this <laughs> has ended up. She feels fairly certain that you've got the equation worked out. Uh, and she says, uh, thank you. Uh, let me know tomorrow if you can. Uh, and she takes her leave. Thank you. Uh, by the next day, she'll have a someone in the post will have uh, brought her a tin of the tea that, that uh, she enjoyed. 
Quintus, give Quint- yourself a Benny. Quintus is just Martha Stewart. Give yourself a Benny for being the oh best guy. Kind of, sort of. Like he's. Yeah. Also, can we talk about how everybody has kind of received something cool except for Jocelyn? I mean, like, I got a duck pond, which I guess is all right, but <laughs> Jocelyn. Why? I don't need anything. Nothing. I'm a simple gal. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And also, so you- Jocelyn does have like her uh, her own like specified like whatever treat she she would have died for last time. It, died for. Expired Why did you for? <laughs> How huh? Suspicious. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Sir Duckington, no. How dare! <laughs> Terrible waterfowl. <laughs> Oh my god buzz oh, is man. buzz is just like brad pitt in in oceans 11 every scene he's in he's eating something oh my god <laughs> that's brad pitt in every movie i swear yeah it is <laughs> it really is i would take advantage if i was an actor i'd be like you know what right. would make this scene great is <laughs> a candy bar <laughs> oh oops i ate it all i guess we need another one for a new take you need to give me another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh heck um so now yeah. you have, you each have a ticket for tonight at 7 p.m., 9 p.m., 9 p.m. probably. Um, and you have time to kind of decide what you want to do, to plan out something. You could, I don't know, what do you want to do? Do we know um, or could we find out like where the Fox sisters are staying before their performance? You... Jocelyn, I believe you have connections. I do. do. So you absolutely have a connection, if you would like to use it now, uh, to somebody who works as the doorman at the theater. (gasps) Okay, yeah. Are are y'all into that? I mean, after brunch, of course. I'm not rushing brunch. We must complete it. Yeah, don't rush brunch. I have (laughs) nothing (laughs) to The choking is still a concern. I got your back. I'll be ready to hit it. <laughs> Doctor approved back hitting. I got you. Uh, so after <clears throat> after brunch, I, I can check in with my my connection. Yeah, I, I mean, well, let's just say that there is a a, a demon of some sort. Like, how do we? do the thing to get rid of the demon if that makes any sense oh that's nice. simple <laughs> uh-huh. well i'm just saying um i've taken care of witches i've taken care mm-hmm. of ghosts i've taken mm-hmm. care of vampires mm-hmm. demons uh i have not had the pleasure of eradicating so i i, I don't quite know if there's something we need to bring or you know the thing that needs to happen. Furthermore, Very reasonable. Mm-hmm. Furthermore, if there's any sort of uh, any sort of history with these two sisters, has there have there been any any uh, events of uh, of a calamitous nature, or any disappearances, any deaths that have surrounded their their uh, their performances that we might know of already? Perhaps even it, perhaps this is perhaps this is a demon, or perhaps they are in league with uh, entirely corporeal near corporeal near duels that uh, Capor- are taking corporeal? advantage. Of- <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you were Cap- so very close. Corpus. Corpus. That was Ronald stuttering. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was funny, uh, in a sweet way. Uh, can I, since uh, Dom kind of jumped on the initial common knowledge role, could I use my result um, to field this question from from Quint- Quintus? Um, I would give you a wow. Um. Well, you have scholar, so I would take a knowledge roll with a plus two from you. Okay. And I have a d6 in that. Just the common knowledge? Yes. I got a nine. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Uh, uh, so the and good it- and bad news. 
okay. is that there are many different ways of banishing demons depending on what the demon is and who the demon is if the demon is named or the type or so it's much harder to prepare in advance for something that you don't know anything oh, about Oh, I'm yet. sorry. Uh, this was about in regards to Quintus's question of like, do we know the history of these women and if they've, if their goings on have immediately caused harm to people? Mm. Uh, you have never heard of that before. Uh, mm -hmm. They have quite the reputation as spiritualists, uh, but they... I mean, it's it's more of a the type of thing where you would hear, oh, uh, you know, they told me to put money into this particular industry and I made a lot of money. So there it's not something where people have gone missing or something like that. It's a crime of commerce. Quintus, my dear Quintus. Hmm. Does it. Huh. So it doesn't seem that anyone's fallen on any sort of hard times or bad luck because of them? Well, sure, any sort of investment has its risks, especially if someone's pulling the wool over your eyes. But as far as dead bodies, I don't think so. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. Which, like, if there was a demon involved, for real, don't you think there'd be a dead body? Well... Who yeah. knows? Perhaps they're simply taking limbs life essence <laughs> a little bit of blood nothing dramatic an organ no. perhaps those organs under seem the important. Assumption, i'm not a doctor though <laughs> under the assumption that this is an actual demon as opposed to some sort of chicanery it could be possible that this demon is actually granting uh, granting favors and then later on down the line any ill will that in, that befalls someone is Ooh. due to their own hands the subsequent uh, machinations of the demon there therein yes a delayed mm. curse if you would the old monkey's I, I'm paw i'm telling you <clears throat> mm. who took that monkey's paw <laughs> that poor monkey can you put it back on elijah <laughs> uh, yes but it won't be the same oh, that's uh. true <laughs> i'm just that saying you know my point here is that maybe the true crime is that uh, people are gullible. We will determine that perhaps this evening. Are Let's you going punish to punish the showgoers? Uh... Let's teach them a lesson. Uh... Do we, if we were, if we were meant to teach gullible people a lesson, we would be never out of work, uh, Miss Bromley. So you're saying it's a good idea? <laughs> Perhaps we should, uh, perhaps we should uh, go to the show and see what happens. Well, I... first I, I got a guy that works at the Covenant Garden Theater. Uh huh. And we could go check in with him and see if he knows a little bit more about the Fox Sisters and what their setup looks like for tonight. Now you're you know, talking. With, with the knocking mechanisms and the and the the air flowing the through and. The flickering of the lights, you know, maybe they've got a, a sort of a pre-game ritual that we can get a scope on. As usual, your mind is astonishing. <laughs> it is. It's like a it? steel trap up here. <laughs> All right. She well, winks. She <laughs> winks. <at Quinn. laughs> with with that, uh, I, should we should we go or you just want to hang out here? Depends. For... Are you done choking? Oh, well, I finished that one. Um, mm -hmm. I, I usually about 15 minutes before I start the next one or so. What? Well, I will stay nearby then. I just have to replenish some of my serums and gauze. Oh, and bring, bring the baby inside. To the pond room. I still so worry. It's very <laughs> alarming. <laughs> about the indoor pond. And the, my, my ankles are... It's a, my attendants have been warned of Sir Duckington. In, in, okay. With... They have their ankles protected. It Defouls the room. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. How dare you. Hey, <laughs> you, <my> Buzzington. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I make myself laugh sometimes. It's okay. Uh, it must be a Westerner thing. <laughs> must be. Yeah. Yeah. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> so well, we pack up our brunch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we finish it. We get Sir Duckington into his pond cozily. Uh, throw some extra breadcrumbs in. Uh, and scones. yeah, and some extra scones. And he seems very two dozen happy. scones in the duck room. <laughs> happy. Uh, and he just kind of puddles himself down like ducks do, you know. Uh, and uh, a loaf. You, he's a loaf. And you take off to Covent Garden Theater to meet the doorman that you know who works there. His name's Sydney. Sydney. Okay. And you, yeah, as you get closer, you, you see Sydney. And uh, he's just kind of standing. He's got his back uh, to like the wall, like at the back of the theater, the, the back door area. And he's just kind of standing and kind of taking a break. I think she walks up kind of behind him and then plants an arm. So it's like the locker room move. <laughs> <laughs> nice. and she's like uh working hard or hardly working sydney and sydney with his fabulous mustache says <laughs> oh uh uh I, oh <laughs> Dawson, um i you 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 always catch me in a state i think it's you well i think it's your fascination with repose i Speechless. I understand. I have yes, that. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure I understood everything that you just said. You uh, lazy, Sydney. Oh, uh, well, the, and he kind of looks like, well, that's probably true. Uh, <laughs> but he doesn't want to say it out loud. Uh, and he says, uh, what, can, what, what can I help you with it? And you have a, a, an entourage. These are my comrades. They work with me, you know, in the business. Mm -hmm. Wink. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Say it out loud. It's somehow disingenuous. <laughs> <laughs> you can be disingenuous and be in uh, covert. Mm. Mm. Uh, what, we, what, what would you what say? What business are you speaking of specifically? <laughs> Wait, above game is the Rippers a secret? <laughs> <laughs> Those are out of character horns, right? Yeah. Um, Rippers organization <laughs> tends to run quietly if at all okay. possible. Yeah, I won't so allow you don't have to keep it secret from people who really want help because those people will <clears> take <throat> your help. Right. But uh, no, I don't, don't elaborate. Let, like the police of all. Sydney's yeah. got a big mouth. I, I love it. <laughs> My business partners. Uh oh. I, I, I stay behind. I stay behind Jocelyn, but I step forward a little bit just to. I, I'm Sorry. I'm large. <laughs> and and He's well large. <laughs> The Popeye reference. Anyway, uh, no one saw I that movie. It, Don't worry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> two of us saw that movie. You're, We're the only two. Among <laughs> you monk friends here. Don't worry about it. It's Robert Altman, you guys. Um, anyway, uh, <clears throat> Buzz will will kind of saddle up to to him and um, just taking Jocelyn's cue uh, a bit and. Uh, 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 Sydney, was it? Uh, pleasure. Um, listen, if we could just, uh, you know, take a look around, uh, just <laughs> go in and, you know, I don't know, see, see, see some, what, what they're doing and just, you know, just as a professional courtesy from one entertainer to another, like, you know, I, I'm sure the Fox sisters would, uh, would welcome that. Uh, I would I would like to make a persuasion. Yes. I would love yes. to make a mm. persuasion roll. Yeah. <clears throat> All righty. I'm just going to make a tiny little roll on my end for no reason. <gasps> a okay. dog. Okay. okay. Baby. Yes. Oh, oh baby. yeah. That ace yes. uh, That is a 15. Oh, okay. So, nice. the, and the good news is that he also passes his common knowledge roll. So he knows you, Buzz. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. He it's not always you. evil <laughs> when the GM rolls. <laughs> uh, he says, oh, oh, Mr. Uh, Buzz Callahan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. 
yeah from oh, the oh. from the circus from the from the wild west circus yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, oh you do a trick shot like i've never seen before yeah and he starts to almost like take on your accent like he can't help himself um because oh he's God, so my into dad it does that. it's so upsetting yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never go to Mexico with my father. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, well, it is a pleasure to meet a fan. I, I'm so so glad to know you. Is it's, it's okay if we go inside and oh, and yeah. Buzz Buzz will kind of start opening the door and motion for people to go in while he's shaking Sydney's yeah, hand. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he like ends up, he'll catch the door from you and, and keep it open. And yeah. it's like, oh yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all let me, I mean, you, you let me know when, yes. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you said it, Sydney. All right. Yeah. You have yes. a good one now. You, yes. <laughs> and he shuts the door, um, realizing that he said y'all. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was And you bizarre. find yourself in the back of the theater. <laughs> 